What is up, Diecast Collectors? This is 9446 Network, back with another Diecast review. And today, we are going to be looking at an RFK Diecast, and yes, a new number for the Diecast series for my collection. I didn't have a Next Gen 17 until now, guys. Here is Chris Busher's 2022 Fifth Third Bank, and I should also probably say 2022-2023, because this paint scheme is actually going to be the same next year, as far as I looked at it. Uh, the Fifth Third Bank Ford Mustang, a really, really cool looking car. It's another one of those that has those chrome numbers, those beautiful, almost like it's a multicolor almost, as you guys can tell. But we'll get a closer look at that as we go on. Without further ado, let's get this diecast review on. So you got number 17 right there, which is very cut off by that headlight. Got RFK, got Mustang right there with the aggressive looking front end right there. And this die cast has a little bit of rubber stuck to it, and it's just mine. This is actually not supposed to be there, and I don't know how to get it off, but there is a piece of rubber stuck to the hood right there. So, Lionel Racing is definitely finding ways to make even more errors that are unimaginable <laughs> back in 2003. But back to this car, you got 5th 3rd Bank right there. You got 5th 3rd, the symbol right there. Got Ford, Busher. You got Sunoco right there, Goodyear NASCAR Cup Series, number 17 with those beautiful color numbers. You got Chris Buescher, you got Ford Fifth Third, and Winham Rewards and Castro. Siemens, that little diamond logo I can't ever read. Fifth Third Bank, Fast and All right there. You got Fifth Third Bank right there, RFK, number 17, the Ford license plate with the 2022 registration little sticker on it. Got Fifth Third Bank, 53.com. We got Busher right there, Fifth Third Bank, 53.com. And the paint scheme itself, I gotta say, I think the main reason why I like it, yeah, a little nick mark on the little chrome number right there. I don't know what this is. This looks like a little bit of a, a, a chip on the 17 right there. That's just great. And it's on top of the, thankfully, it's on top of the chrome number and not on it, because that would be a really bad situation there. But this paint scheme right here, folks, this is the car that flipped at the Coca-Cola 600. I was actually there to see that. But that car actually had patriotic little trims on it. So this car is technically different, but almost a similar paint scheme as to what crashed at Charlotte. Uh, but this car right here, other than that, this car is beautiful to look at. First off, it's a matte finish, which right off the bat, matte finish. Look at that. The main selling points are already popping up in this review. Main selling points, chrome numbers, matte finish, beautiful colors, an RFK car, next gen, it's just an unbelievable car. The hood vents are underneath the logo, unfortunately, but that's just how this car was made. A lot of these next gen cars actually have some weird issues like this, or the hood vents are underneath the sponsor, but it is no big deal. You guys, when you're looking at it from the diecast series, you'll probably barely even to tell, but... If you're collecting these cars, that's one detail to notice and point out. It starts out all matte white in the front, which the entire car is matte. Black splitter right there. And my favorite, this is probably my favorite RFK car, and possibly for the 17, my favorite for, my favorite for him. And the reason why this paint scheme, just look at the sheer beauty of this car. It's just got the gradient green, the gradient blue, and of course the classic RFK k template with that stripe right there and it's got the blue gradients fading to green behind a white backdrop that goes across the side towards the rear wheel and towards the back and you can tell by looking it has that very cube blocky checkered flag this car you know what this car reminds me of i think it's a perfect time to bring this up this car i like it so much because it reminds me of the old and old number 10 pure later car i feel like an orange and blue i can't remember the driver but that paint scheme is was one of my favorite a, a really cool retro paint scheme right there's a lot of retro paint schemes that i like and that number 10 pure later car that ran a while ago I actually have a little hauler 187 scale die cast set for that car and i gotta tell you that car pops and this car looks a lot like it but this one's even more insane this is an insane paint scheme and this car right here has got the green outline the black outline the blue outline the yellow trimmings or the reflections and the white number fill-in number has about on the side 
has about all the same colors, just a little bit rearranged. Now you got the dark blue, the white outline, the yellow outline, the white trim, and of course the chrome, the beautiful looking chrome. And it's almost like, it's, it's like, you know when you have like those shiny surfaces that like, they're really shiny and they change colors. This kind of looks like when you flip it around, it's almost purple. It's like almost like a purple, light blue, chrome almost color. It, and it's just insane looking on this car. Just the, when you have this car in your diecast series, these RFK cards are going to pop out big time. Okay? So, back to the paint scheme itself that we were talking about. You got the checkered flag pattern with the gradient of the green. Really, really nice diamond green fading into that lime grass green. Fading into the light blue, into the, into the dark blue. And it fades all the way to just, it's just gradients all around. Just from here to here, just gradients from dark into bright blue and into the green. It's just an just unbelievably detailed car. And of course, you can get a better look at it when you look at the upper portions of this car, how the fade of these gradients actually looks like. And it's actually not very pixelated. The quality seems to be pretty good for that. So that's going to be exciting to see. For you diecast collectors, I want to see some detailed, detailed cars. And of course, you have Chris Busher with the green outline and the yellow letter fill-in. I'm bringing that name color up because that actually alternates with some of these drivers' names. Got the biofuel right there over to the back. It's got the dark blue right there. And it's also got some fade gradients to it as well. It's kind of bright towards the middle of it. Beautiful, detailed car. An absolutely unbelievable paint scheme. And of course, the blue Goodyear logos just go well with the blue that's on the car. It's just a fantastic car. Just the matte finish, the chrome painted numbers, chrome wrap numbers. The color choices, the green and blue. Very modern. This thing, very. it's almost like a good mixture of modern and retro. Very, very interesting combination. And of course, you got the modern technology to do paint schemes. And of course, the inspiration of old, like that beautiful Pure Later car. This is an unbelievable, I love this car. It's definitely my favorite Chris Buescher car. Uh, they're going to run this car again next year with a very similar scheme. I want to say it's very similar. So if you don't have this car this year, this car might come back next year, guys. Uh, it, it might be a whole different mold. <laughs> judging by the news I've been hearing lately, but this car here is an unbelievably stunning looking car. And when you shine those numbers, man, it really does reflect. Look at that. The shine. Just an unbelievable car. Black spoiler. Beautiful looking Mustang. And it has a 360 view. It's the front of the car. It's the hood. It's the right side. It's the back. It's the deck lid. It's the roof. The left side and the chassis, or the underbody, I should say. Uh, thank you guys for checking this one out, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast review. And what what rim color would I color these in? Uh, some of the paint schemes look good with black rims. The Daniel Suarez K1 card looked good with the black rims. This These black rims aren't bad looking on this car, but if I had to choose a different color, maybe the green. Maybe green rims. Maybe blue rims. Maybe rims that are the color of the chrome number. There's lots of possibilities there. But it's still a just a beautiful looking matte gradient chrome number. This is definitely a car you're going to get. If you're only getting a couple cars this year, make this one of them. Holy cow. This is an, uh, just an outstanding paint scheme. So thank you guys for checking this one out. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next 9446 Diecast review. And always remember to make sure you know what you're doing when you're putting decals on your diecasts.